Hello everyone, it is September 13th, 2021. Wow, my camera is really, really not swell. Hold on, let's change this around. Okay, hopefully that's better. Hello everyone, it is Jane with Battle River Homesteaders. It is September 13th, 2021, and I thought I would teach you all how I'm going to make relish, homemade relish. I'm super exciting, it's my first time, but I picked my tomatoes that were outside on my plants because we started getting frost so i've picked all of them and i need to do it so i figure instead of just waiting for them because my greenhouse is full of tomatoes i would just make this work so it's super easy you need four ish cups of cut up tomatoes green tomatoes which i will be doing you need one pepper green pepper you need some mustard, you need some vinegar, you can use pickling or just normal. You need four cloves of garlic, I just have this because I haven't taken them apart. You need an onion, some more things. You need some celery salt, you need some pickling salt, and you need some sugar. Then, because we don't, what is going on with my camera? Holy moly, anyways. I'm going to have to fix that before I film the rest, but because we don't use a lot of relish and I don't want it to go bad, we are just doing little jars. I'm going to start with these ones and see how much I use, but I do have these ones in case. I'm going to, they've all been clean and sterilized, however, it's been a couple of days, so I'm going to put hot water in them to keep them hot, and I'll put my lids into that hot water too. So I'm going to fill them with, oops, water, and I'll be back. There we go, my camera's much better. Okay, so I have my lids sitting in hot, hot water. It burns me a touch. All my cans are sitting in hot water. Now we're gonna go back over here and I'm going to start can or start cutting up my tomatoes. I'm not gonna film myself because it's really just not fun to watch someone cut up tomatoes, but I'll be back once I got them all cut up. All right, so I'm doubling my recipe. So I'm doing eight cups of tomatoes. And then, I guess I need to grab another pepper because I'm going to do two peppers. I need to grab another onion because I'm going to do two onions. And I'll do eight cloves of garlic. And I'm going to cut this all up, put it into here, and it will sit for an hour. Okay, I have my tomatoes, my green pepper, my onions, and I even cut up my garlic and put it in here because I just want to try it. Um, my instructions say I'm to put it in this pot add my because I doubled but a normal one is four or two tablespoons I'm gonna do four because I doubled it and then I'm just gonna sprinkle it over my stuff so there is my four tablespoons of salt now I'm going to just cover it with the tablecloth or with the table dish table thing towel dish towel thank you um and let it sit for an hour like my instructions say I'll see you in 60 minutes I just came uh, inside from helping Josh do the curls, and oh my goodness, this smells so, so good. So my recipe says I'm supposed to drain this all out, but um, I don't, I don't have a lot of moisture, so I'm not going to waste my time. This may or may not be a good idea, but that's all part of learning, right? So, oh, it smells so good. So, 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 so good. So... Now, I'm going to clean off my stove. That's a mess. Look how many tomatoes I still have. If this is super easy, I think I'll do another batch. Depending on how many it fills, do another batch tonight. So, because it's been an hour, my jars are no longer hot. So, I'm going to go over there and I'm going to dump out that water, put in more hot water and get them warm. But now is my time to add all this. Okay, so I have drained it. Now I'm going to add my vinegar, sugar, mustard, and celery salt. Okay, so now my celery salt, I need a teaspoon. However, I doubled it, so I need two. I need a cup of sugar, but I doubled it, so I need two cups of sugar. I need two tablespoons of mustard and a cup of vinegar. I'm just using normal vinegar because it 
to us, it works the same. Um, so you will put all this in. And then this is the part where I'm supposed to have my garlic still. And it says to wrap it in cheesecloth and then just throw it in. To like cook with it. But I just threw it right in there. We like garlic. It's okay. So we're going to put all this in. And then I'm going to put it on the stove to simmer for 20 minutes. I will also say your water bath should be going. I forgot so I just started it. And everything is in here, so I'm going to give it a quick stir. And that's all vinegar that I added that's in there. That now liquid is all vinegar. It smells so good. <laughs> so now we're going to put it onto our stove and let it simmer for 20 minutes. Make sure your lids and your jars are hot. All right, so everything is in here. I'm going to mix her about. This already looks better than my first batch. Um, so we will see, I guess, how it goes. Josh and I also decided after my second batch that we were not going to simmer it for 20 minutes. We are gonna to try to do 15-ish only, 10 to 15, and see if that makes a difference. Here's my second batch. It's going into the water bath. Joshua is helping me. <laughs> it is much better. I um, left a lot of the soup in there. I kind of drained it after we cooked it because it was a little too runny, I thought. So now we're water bathing it. I got so a water bath for 10 minutes again. Much better than my first batch. I made Joshua take a spoonful of it. What do you think? It's delightful. You just saying that because I'm your wife? No, because it's actually really good really. <laughs> Thanks, babe. So now we will just be 10 minutes. 20 after 8 will be done. Or quarter after 8, I guess. And then I'm done canning relish. I had, nah. we're gonna see. Maybe I'll do another batch because that is so delightful. But I have to go, the, actually I have two peppers in my greenhouse. Do you? Yeah. But anyways, we'll see how that goes. Anyways, um, next we'll do beets and all that. So thanks for following our journey. Bye. Bye.